Well, this might be the reason we haven't seen Joe Biden on the campaign trail much for Kamala Harris. I am convinced more and more every single day he is trying to sabotage her campaign. While Kamala is supposed to be having her big speech tonight, her closing argument for the next week of the election, Joe Biden was going on camera and calling millions of Americans garbage. Well, let me tell you something. I don't, I, I don't know the Puerto Rican that, that I know, or Puerto Rico where I'm in my home state of Delaware. They're good, decent, honorable people. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. Now, Kamala Harris, I imagine she's screaming at her staff, smashing cell phones. If there's a shortage of boxed wine tonight in Washington, D.C., we know why. Kamala is going to clean out every mini fridge in a 10 mile radius. Imagine Kamala Harris coming off stage from her big event. She's got all these endorphins, all this dopamine, and they're like, ma'am, Joe Biden called half the country garbage. Now, Kamala Harris and her campaign surrogates, they've spent the last few weeks calling Trump supporters Nazis. They've called him Hitler. They've called him a fascist, which really doesn't make sense to me, right? If we talk about fascism, what about the coup they just enacted against Biden? They pushed him out. Then they coronated Kamala Harris in the 11th hour. That to me is more akin to fascism than what's happening on the other side. Now, the White House press secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre, she is probably shredding her binder right now and looking for a job in the private sector because every time Joe goes on camera, it's an utter calamity. Now, Joe Biden, or whoever is still up at the White House, tried to put out a statement and walk back his comments, but we all have our own ears and can come to our own conclusions. Now, the second I heard the garbage comment come out of Joe Biden's mouth, I was reminded of Hillary Clinton's comment from 2016 when she called Trump supporters deplorables. Now, like I always say, I'm not owned by the RNC or the DNC. I've never taken a dollar from Trump or Kamala Harris. I just call it like I see it. I'm only beholden to the truth. And the truth is, this election is not really about Republican versus Democrat. This election is really about the ruling class in Washington, the permanent Washington elites versus everyday Americans who feel left behind and screwed over. Now, what set this whole situation off are comments this comedian Tony made the other night at Madison Square Garden denigrating Puerto Ricans. I condemned it that night. I honestly didn't think the joke was that funny. I like good humor. That joke fell very flat. That being said, I hope the mainstream media doesn't brush Joe Biden's comments under the rug. If they're going to make tons of headlines based off what a comedian said at a rally, not even Donald Trump himself, they better run with this as well. What's quite sad is that a large part of Kamala Harris and Joe Biden's legacies will be the division. They ran on unifying the country and being about peace, but all they've done is divide. Now, you guys know I've traveled all across the country this year. I welcome everyone on my page. It's come one, come all to the Halloween ball. Something I try to do is speak across the aisle and welcome everybody. You're not supposed to call millions of Americans garbage. Now, Trump supporters, there is a high threshold. If you support Kamala Harris and go with the Democratic agenda, you're going to be praised by your community. If you support Donald Trump, you will be vilified and bullied. That is simply a fact. As someone who used to live in downtown New York City, if you even question the mainstream media, the Democratic agenda, you would be ostracized. So being called garbage, I know many Trump supporters are gonna be unfazed by this. They're like, we've been called Nazis, we've been called deplorables, now we've been called garbage. What's gonna happen tomorrow? All right, my friends, thanks for liking and following. Drop a comment. Tell me how you feel about everything going on right now. Like I always say, I welcome folks on the left, the right, the middle, all across the political spectrum. It's come one, come all to the Halloween ball on my page. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.